Hey, how's it going everybody? Hope you're having a great day out there. Today we're going to be doing another leak code problem. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have today. Alright, so let's take a look at the problem. Uh, it's called Merge Sorted Array. And it's a leak code easy, which again is always relative. So given two sorted or integer arrays, nums1 and nums2, merge nums2 into nums1 as one sorted array. Okay, so the number of elements initialized in nums1 and nums2 are m and n respectively, you may assume that nums1 has enough space, size that is greater than or equal to m plus n, to hold additional elements from num2. Example, so given this 1, 2, and 3, and then space for the other array, the other array which is 2, 5, and 6, the output is going to be 1, 2, 2, 3, 5, and 6. Okay, and it's asked that companies like Facebook, Microsoft, and Amazon. So let's go ahead and see how we can solve this problem. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the arrays over and make sure I comment them out. And all I want are the arrays. I don't want any of this extra stuff. Just the two arrays. All right. So it seems like since they give us room at the end of the array here what we want to do is we want to start from the end so we're going to start from greatest to smallest so what we can do here is it seems like we're going to need three pointers so what we need are the reference to the end of our first array the end of our second array and where we are currently so so what do, I, what do I mean by that? So initially we'll have our pointer here and then we're gonna compare the greatest numbers of each array. So we see three and six. Okay, so we obviously we wanna add the six. So we'll add a six there. Now we'll have a pointer here and we'll decrement it to be pointing to this guy right here. So we'll have five and three that we're comparing. Well, five is greater, so then we'll put the five in here. Then we'll have three and two that we're comparing. We want to go ahead and add the three. And then we're going to move the pointer to be pointing at two. So at this point, we have two and two. So obviously it doesn't matter there because they're the same. So we'll just say we put our two in here. Um, and then we'll say it was this one. So now we're pointing at one and two. Two is greater. So then we, will, we would put a two in here. And then finally we have the one, which is already in the right place. And then this is what we want to, well, it's a void, so we're not returning anything, but this is what the array would look like at the end. And as we can see, it's sorted. So what would the code for this look like? So as we can see here, um, we have M and N, which are the size of the arrays, uh, respectively, nums one and nums two. So we can use those as our pointers. Um, so since we are referencing into the array, um, we want to, uh, an array to start at zero, we want to decrement both of these. So that'll be the first thing we'll do. We'll do m minus minus and n minus minus. So next we need a variable to show where we are in the nums1 array, where we're actually placing the numbers in. So initially we're going to be starting at the end here, remember? So what it's going to be is we'll just call it um, index and then we'll say it's equal to nums one dot length minus one so next we need a while loop so we'll do while index is greater than or equal to zero and at the end here we're going to be decrementing index so let's just go ahead and do that now so at this point we're going to have three cases we'll have the case where um say you know we're moving the pointers from right to left so we want to do a check if at any point, um, one of the pointers reaches the end of an array. Uh, we don't want to reference that, obviously, because we're going to get a no pointer exception. So we need to check for that. So the first thing is going to be if m is less than 0. And if it is, then we know we're just going to be adding the element from the other array. So what we want to do is we want to do nums1 n. Sorry nums1 index is going to be equal to nums2 at n. And if you want to be fancy, we could either do n minus minus, or we can just do it in here. The other case is if n is less than zero, 
then we want to go ahead and add the element from nums1. So we'll do nums1 index equals nums1 m, and then we're going to be decorating m. Otherwise, we're going to not be at the end of either array, so we actually need to do our compare here. So the first case is going to be if the value at nums1 is less than nums2. In that case, we want to add the value at nums2. And the other case will be just the opposite. If nums2 is greater than nums1, then we want to go ahead and add the value at nums2. All right, so let's go ahead and run that. And as you can see, we have a success and runtime 100%, memory usage 100%. So that's pretty good. <laughs> I would say very good. Um, so yeah, so what are the time and space complexities of this? Well, for space complexity, we are just iterating through the existing arrays. So we're not using any additional auxiliary space. And for the time complexity, we are iterating through uh, the size of nums1 and nums2. So it's going to be m plus n. All right, that's going to be all for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching. Please go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, that's going to be all. Um, hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys next time.